My name is Tariq and today I'm going to show you how we can install the OpenPST latest version. Okay, the first we need to go on the OpenPST site. Here you can see openpst.org and here you can see the new version is the OpenPST is a 6.7 which is at least just is a May 20, uh, 19, 2020. It's just a recent version. Okay, you can see here the download. Just click on the download. Now you have a download files and in my scenario, I will download a ISO file. Uh, you can see the different architecture here and based on your architecture, you can download like in my scenario, I will download this file, just click. And now you can save this file in your PC and then uh, we will see how can we install it. But I have already downloaded this file, so I don't have to need again. Uh, if you see, in my app drive i have a software folder i have a linux platform on open pst here i have a different version i tried always uh, uh, in the last version 6.7 i have already downloaded okay you can download this file after the download then you go to the virtual server or where you want to install over there here i have already created the open pst folder click file new virtual machine typical now here we can select where we have a, a software then we can select here I have already select here okay 6.7 next now you have to select the platform okay others here you can find in others a free BST 64 bit next now virtual machine name whatever you want next is a 20 GB is a by default if you want to increase you can change here like next okay finish now you have a virtual machine here first uh, we will move here in the folder open PST and edit a virtual machine I need to configure the LAN card so I need also an IP address between the installation so I say network adapter select on the bridge directly connect with the router same like okay now we can start here uh, okay. play power on full screen booting the device it will take some few seconds then you will get an option for the installation Here you can see welcome to the open PST and now we have an option install upgrade uh, auto install and shall in my scenario first we're going to install if you press just I then installation and then enter installation start new now choose your keyboard layout you have to select your keyboard uh, based on your country uh, what uh, kind of layer keyboard you want to select okay you don't know just press L then you will uh, see you have a different kind of the keyboard uh, I will select PE is a short for form of the Belgium just enter system host name whatever you want I said open BSD for example 6.7 oh. numlock is 6.7 enter Available network, we have a one network card is EAM0, just enter. It will select automatically this one. Now uh, configure as a DSCP or static. First we are going to select as a DSCP. You don't have to type because it's in the bracket. Just enter and it will select the same value. Now so you can see here, I got an IP release from the my router and IPv6, no. I don't have to configure this okay done just press 
okay now it's the uh, normally you have a default user uh, is a root user and you have to define the password of the root user again okay sst yes by default uh, x window system yes we will see after the installation this no if you want to create the user for your name you can create for example in my scenario i will create my user tarik thoma enter full name tarik thoma then the password you have to define the password you can't leave a, a blank okay no now time zone it will be automatic select based on your router uh, now it's select uh, europe personal i said yes okay as the uh, like a uh, uh, hard disk you want to configure sd0 we have a one okay yes you want to configure yes hole if you see a uh, ww for hole if you press w and then enter it will select whole drive now we have a different folder in the different device but at this moment we have a, if you see the c drive we have a uh, 220400 m so if you want to create a label you then you can custom uh, you can configure your drive in the custom you can see here we have an, a custom layout with c i suggest c okay custom now you can create a label how can you create if you just press a question mark right type a question mark then, then enter then you have a different commands and based on these commands you can uh, configure your drive for example if you see p here you we can see p p for print partition you can see how many partition do you have here we can suffix we can see like a kilobyte uh, is k uh, we will see where you can define this value okay first we will try p then enter we can see we have a just one uh, drive it's a c now i will create a partition if you see here is a small a uh, is a add partition if you want to create a partition we can see here how we can create a, a small a is a a is a partition and second a is a partition label is a name just enter offset by default 64 size is of total so uh, what size you want to create uh, for the partition like in my son i said or oh, and g here we have already seen suffix uh, here we can select okay 8g like 8 gigabyte enter is a by default is a way you want to mount this drive always is a root it's backslash that means is a root enter okay now we can see p and enter now we have a two partition one a and second c now is that w is a right label when you press w it means you are writing the labels okay now we have to exit then we're going to install a q quit and save okay now location of the set where we have a location uh, of the files okay cd is zero to path by default enter here we can see this is all files uh, uh, on the cd0 and now you want to install over there just press done enter okay verification no, yes you have to write yes then enter now installation is started it will take some time maybe five minutes it depend on your pc depend on your uh, server so now it will going to install all the file you can see this file bsd bsd.rd bsd 67.tgz and one by one is going to install okay now here we can see installation has been done okay now just press enter done okay time appearing wrong don't care about it just press yes now it will take some time for the some configurations okay here we can see yeah, login system is uh, please uh, reinstall the command congratulations your open bs install has been successfully completed okay now reboot just press enter and 
it's going to reboot. In the first time, it will take some time to start the machine. Reordering the library, you can see my IP address from my DSCP server, from my router. Okay, here now it's uh, asking for the login. So I say, uh, if you could already create your username, you can type your username, but you can also log in with the root user, and root user is always root, and the password which you, which you have defined during the installation. Okay, this is OpenBSD. Its installation is completed. Okay, 